Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio right now by Yasmin Mahmoud, who is CEO of the Malaysian Digital Economy Corporation. Yasmin, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about smart digital transformation, which is the theme for this year's ITU Telecom World. What does it mean to you? Well, um, MDAC as, a develop, as an agency, as a government agency to develop the, or to champion the digital economy footprint of the country, this is a very important agenda, not only for Malaysia but all countries. Uh, and, and it's about ensuring that um, we are able to future-proof, in a way, our nations um, in the world of uh, where digital innovation is becoming so disruptive. So I think embracing digital innovation for the social and economic benefit of the country is no longer a question of should we or why, it's a question of how do we do it. And in terms of smart opportunities, what smart opportunities do you see in the next five years and, and what are the key challenges in your opinion? Um, I think everything in the world now is uh, able to become smart, you know, from a smart city, smart agriculture, smart education. So the digital innovation as a fundamental layer is, has the ability to really transform and even disrupt existing uh, you know, industries and business models and companies. So what's important for a country is to ensure that we've got a couple of layers, a few found fundamental layers. Um, of course, number one is the infrastructure, the telco infrastructure. The country like Malaysia is very fortunate in the sense that we've got a 70% broadband infrastructure already in place uh, or access or pen penetration. Uh, we need to ensure that the policy layer, you know, policy and regulations is not only about regulating but it's also about enabling and finding that right balance between letting innovation fly and ensuring, you know, the, 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 uh, the part of security and all that is being taken care of. But I think there are a few uh, key, uh, like in Malaysia for instance, there are two key focus that we're putting in right now is to ensure that our talent uh, our future talent especially, are uh, not only uh, consumers of uh, digital innovation but also can be uh, innovators and co producers of digital innovation. So how do we shift that mindset? So that's one key uh, shift and agenda that we have to champion. And the other one is around uh, enabling and uh, encouraging the startup ecosystem because we know that in the world of disruption and innovation, it's not the large companies. We, you, you know, we don't put the money on the large companies with a lot of legacy and um, you know, with a, a lot to lose, but you have to put uh, you know, the bet on these young people with creativity, with a passion, purpose-driven, uh, and they are the ones that will be able to push the envelope, and these will be the people, the, you know, the, um, the, the, the job creators of the future will be in the startup ecosystem. And in terms of uh, your own role, how can uh, the Malaysia Digital Economy Corporation promote digital uh, financial inclusion, for example, for unbanked people, and why is it important to do so? Financial inclusion is an important agenda for ASEAN in particular. Uh, the Asian Development Bank has uh, stated that uh, in addressing financial inclusion could add between 9 to 14 percent of, uh, of, of a GDP in a country. And in countries like Cambodia, for instance, the figure could go as high as 32 percent uh, because it's only 16 percent of, uh, of, uh, you know, of uh, the population in Cambodia that has access to uh, formal uh, uh, savings and financial services. So it is not only about MDEC, uh, you know, we, 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 the, the collaboration amongst all the stakeholders in the country uh, towards financial inclusion is very important. Malaysia, for, for, for one, we are very lucky to have a 92%, so it's not about an issue of uh, unbanked in Malaysia, 92% of our adult population already have access to a formal savings account or uh, some level of deposit, you know, but for us, I think the issue is more around underbanked and uh, uh, two particular communities that are really important uh, to be brought uh, brought up. The one community is what we call the 40%, the bottom 40% of our income stratification and the other big one, the other big community is the micro SMEs. Yeah, And uh, I think areas of micro financing, uh, micro loans would be a very important innovation that can make impact. Uh, to this uh, community. Because micro SMEs, of course, 
a large part of the, the Malaysian economy. Absolutely. Uh, micro SMEs, uh, well, SMEs in particular, and especially micro SMEs, make up a big population uh, of the number of companies, 97%. And this is across the board in ASEAN. It's very, it's, it's in, this, in this range. But the percentage of uh, GDP contribution uh, is only at the 40% range in on average in ASEAN. So unleashing this group of communities would be a, would, would be a huge economic impact to the, to the country. Yeah, it would be stunning. And in terms of uh, this event itself, I mean, you're here at ITU Telecom World 2017, your first time in, in Busana yes. here, but yes. uh, I just wanted to, to find out from you, what's the value of attending events such as this? Um, you know, it's my first time in not only in Busan, but it's also it's my very first ITU uh, event. Uh, so it's really... Um, it's really a, a, a massive coalition of all the nations. Uh, so it's a lot of learning, and I think this has got, uh, ITU has a very strong, um, well, potential to really aggregate all the fundamentals of telecommunications and the, regula the regula re regulations around cybersecurity and so on. But I do, um, you know, my, my observation is that I think it's not about just re the regulations. Yesterday I was part of a, a panel to talk about digital resilience and there was a lot of discussion and energy around how do you start regulating. And I think it's important for us to find the balance. The point I was making was find a balance um, you know, you don't discipline the baby before it's before it's grown. So, at what point do you start disciplining and putting in regulations? At what at what point do you let it just grow and let innovate soar to whatever it can? So, I think finding that balance is really crucial, and uh, and that that is uh, I I hope that there is enough tension between pushing the envelope as well as regulating innovation. So that was the main message that I. I, uh, I wanted to give to, to ITU. Well, that's a good metaphor, the, the, the parenting, the, uh, the baby. I mean, we're, we're very much here in uh, its infancy, but there's a mm -hmm. lot of energy going on around here, which uh, I'm sure we're all, we can all tap into. Well, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today, and we wish you the very best, and uh, enjoy the rest of ITU Telecom World. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very much indeed.